Quake is a first-person shooter developed by id Software and published by GT Interactive with a release date of June 22, 1996. Less than a year later, we see release of this game for Mac OS on March 5, 1997, Sega Saturn on October 31, 1997, and Nintendo 64, renamed Quake 64 on March 24, 1998. This game is known for making history due to the introduction of the Quake engine, which uses 3D models and the mods that came from it, like Team Fortress. The engine ran from June 22, 1996 to December 21, 1999. During this engine's run, it began working on its next engine, the Quake 2 engine. The plot revolves around a character named Ranger who goes through a portal to stop an enemy called Quake. While in these dimensions, Ranger has to collect four magic artifacts in order to come face to face with the game's last boss, Shub Niggurath. And you thought Doom Guy had it rough. Speaking of which, the gameplay is exactly like Doom, but a new mechanic is introduced, unrestricted free looking via mouse. While it is true that Doom did have vertical aim, it was very limited. Twig took that concept, improved it, and the rest is history. But the catch was that it wasn't implemented by default, you had to configure the game to make it happen. One other thing I should mention is while this isn't the first game to have free look, it sure did help popularize it. This mechanic also helped popularize online multiplayer. Come to think of it, does anyone still play the first Quake online? Whether people do or not will never be known. Going back to the game, the concept is exactly like Doom, get from point A to point B. Also like Doom, there are plenty of secrets to be found in each level. The number of levels varies depending on which of the four episodes you play. Speaking of episodes, you don't pick an episode or difficulty like normal. Instead, you walk through a hub. Has any other game done that? Not that I'm aware of. I would like to point out that once you complete an episode, you can't go back. Anyway, you start the game with an axe and single barrel shotgun. Along the way, you'll find other weapons including the double barrel shotgun, two variations of the nail gun, rocket and grenade launcher, and in the register version, the thunderbolt. While generic, each does their job fine. Also during gameplay, you'll come across power-ups. This includes quad damage, which does four times the damage, ring of shadows, which make you invisible, the pentagram of protection, 666 armor and invulnerability, the bio suit, which allows to swim underwater for a longer period of time, and health 100, which adds 100 health but goes down over time. The graphics are dark and the architecture is set to a medieval theme. While on the topic of themes, the enemies are either medieval or futuristic. What I'm getting at is there are knights, zombies, ogres from the medieval, while there are grunts, enforcers, rottweilers, and so on from the futuristic. It's a bit weird, but it works. The biggest advantage this game has over others is when you start over after dying, you don't lose your equipment, but you also don't start with full health. What is missing is the background music, but this game does fine without it as it adds atmosphere to the game. If you happen to own a physical CD of the game, you'll be treated to some pretty good music thanks to Trent Reznor and Nine Inch Nails. While on topic, I noticed that the nail gun ammo has the 9 inch nails logo on it. Talk about cross promotion. What is perhaps the strangest concept is that there are only three bosses Katan, Vor, and Shub Niggurath. Most dog shooters that I know of have a boss at the last level of each episode. While the game as a whole is fantastic, there are a few problems. First is the swimming mechanic. In order to go up or down, you don't use the mouse. You instead use two separate keys, which is rather unnecessary. Next thing is the controls. While responsive and fine, it feels a little slippery, which can lead to some misfalls. One final thing to note is while not necessarily a problem, it just feels odd, and that is zombies can only be killed with explosives or quad damage. If you use a non-explosive weapon when you kill a zombie, they'll come right back to life. Quake is truly an example of taking something awesome like Doom and makes it better. Quake gets 4 quad damages out of 5.